Hey guys, Blamager here, and we're back with more Let's Play 3D Classics Kid Icarus. And now that it's a little bit darker outside, we'll have to see my fan rotating in the background. And let's get started with the second level of the underworld. Now, one thing I like to do here is just get rid of these mono eyes right off the bat. And, of course, more are going to come. But I get rid of those, too. And there's going to be lots of shimums. Uh, I guess another difference I could point out right there is that in this version, uh, the hitbox for the hearts for you to collect them is a little bit bigger. Like that one that was stuck in the wall on the Wii version, I would not have been able to collect it. Alright, we have another spec nose room. Uh, this level does actually have an arrow upgrade in here, so you want to be kind of careful to not waste a lot of arrows. But at the same time, it's not a huge deal because it's at the very end of the stage and there's a lot of enemies and hearts and... It's pretty hard to not have enough points to be able to get that by the time you reach it. I am almost dead. Holy crap. Luckily, there's a Water of the Gods right there to restore my life. Whoa! Gotta be careful on the ice. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit sloppy here. Man, these things just fall out of the sky. Yeah, I'm not going to risk getting those hearts. Now on these ice platforms, you got to be careful because you can actually fall through them. Alright, here we have a black market. Now honestly, unless you're buying the barrel because you didn't get it from a treasure room, I wouldn't buy anything here because the prices are outrageous. But uh, these are the only items the black market ever has, unless you lose one of your special weapons, which I'll get into later. And uh, like I said, they're really overpriced. If you have a credit card from the treasure room, which is the only place you can get the credit card from, you can actually buy a single item from a black market if you don't have enough hearts, and then hearts that you get after that will be going towards the debt until it is paid off. You won't be able to buy any more items from the black market until the debt's paid off. But anyways, that is the black market. Hopefully I won't need to use the black market anymore in this playthrough. So honestly, I don't like the black market. Alright, there's pretty much no way to avoid being seen by this reaper. See, he saw me again, but couldn't call more reapets in. Alright, another spec nose room. I'm telling you, they're just handing these out like candy. Easy enough. Oops, that was a miss. And luckily there's some more Water of the Gods there. Alright, a few tricky jumps here that are made not so bad thanks to the new controls. Just one thing you just really gotta make sure of is that you don't press down accidentally on top of ice because you will go through it. Like so. Alright, we got another Reaper here. Man, I hate Reapers. This is pretty much the safest way i found to fight them in this version, is just wait until they turn their back. 
Alright, now this is a regular shop. And you can actually haggle with the shops, but um, you have to have strength equal to one plus whatever world you're on to actually succeed in haggling. Right now my strength is one and I'm on world one, so it would fail. Uh, to haggle in this version you have to press A and then start. I'm not sure I can actually do this effectively on camera, but I'll try it. I'm not going to actually buy anything here, but if I were... Actually, I think I will buy something once. I will buy a Potion of the Gods. It'll be stored in my barrel. Normally you could only hold one, but if you have a barrel you can hold up to eight. And what the Potion of the Gods does is it will restore your health, I think, one bar when you run out of life. So that's good to have. Now, I'll show this once. Hopefully this will be the only time I have to show a failed haggle, but... Go on! Who do you think you are? Or, who do, I, who do you think I am? And then he raises his prices. In the other versions, normally, you would still be able to move around while the text is scrolling, but I guess that was a bug, and they fixed that in this version, so that... See, the prices don't actually change until he's finished scrolling with the text, so you could still buy something at a normal price in the other versions. But anyways, enough about haggling. Ah, oh, man. These shimums are annoying. They're just all over the place, always dropping on you. Yes. If you play this game, you will learn to hate shimums as much as I do. It's really bad, because I have to hold relatively still for the camera. So yeah. I'm actually using the stand that came with uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. I think it works a little bit better for me than the uh, slime speaker did. Of course the slime speaker still is pretty good, but... At least with this one, I can actually plug a uh, audio cable into a 3DS. So if I ever get a cable like that, I'll I'll start recording the sound directly from the 3DS instead of through my microphone like I am now. All right, this Reaper here is kind of a jerk. I like to just avoid him altogether if possible. Yeah, but it's not going to happen. Taking the hit there is not really that bad. Just as long as you got a hit to take. So yeah, at this point there's going to be a lot of slow platform moving that you just got to wait on. Now if I haven't already said it in this Let's Play so far, as the screen scrolls up, if you try to scroll back down, you will die. We got some more Magoos here. And we have some uh, Kamilooses chasing us. And here is our arrow upgrade. We have enough, so he'll give it to us. Glad you came, Joshua. Here, take this. And it changes our color on our menu screen. Ugh. On our menu screen, you see two arrows next to strength now, so that puts us at level two. Just in case you were wondering, there are a total of five strength levels and five endurance levels. And I didn't explain it well in the last one, but uh, your score there. Score is what you have for the stage, and total is what you have for the game. Uh, your total score has to be so high for you to gain a level of endurance. But I think by the time it reaches 100,000, you'll have gained all five levels of endurance. I should gain a level of endurance when I complete the level this time. So we'll, we'll see. Unfortunately, there's no way to skip through this. There we go, power up. So I am at level two of endurance. 
and this is going to do it for this episode. This has been Let's Play 3D Classics Kid Icarus. I am Blah Major, and I will see you guys next time as we take on Underworld 1-3. See you later.